Alex, you here? Hey, thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman, sometimes. You said you got something on Versalife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach Facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand Versalife, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Rucker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about Versalife. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things, and somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. <laughs> Nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is, hell even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me? The key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller, using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair. For a while. If anyone catches you... It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on ARC. 
You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC doesn't operate in North America. Please call Hong Kong Alpha One Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rocker may be onto him. Then it's time for him to use the Orchid. Tell him. Killing Rocker... Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, it'll certainly make things easier during Phase 2, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the Council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them. But at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! End call. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. I'll see what I can do. Later, man. Adam, what are you doing in here? Suppose I could ask you the same thing, Delara. I'm worried about Vince Black, the head of our organized crime division. I was leaving a message for Director Miller asking if he's heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy. Kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon is waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black's psyche valve that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take. I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Manderley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... 
Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderly are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderly started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderly came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me... Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobra Miller. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. I know about your meeting, and I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is, I know what he does, and I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was while I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the Lally. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We're both should. What kind of trouble are you in, exactly? Vince wanted me to tell information about my husband's operation. Vlista runs a... It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting... I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. 
Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Or do you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Vlesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. All right, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. Delara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into? I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Who are you? What are you doing here? If Blaster sees you, he... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you're not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money, and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Gollum was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lasta finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. 
and then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni of Wood. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. You can't ask me to ignore a Diwali smuggling ring. They're moving weapons around, helping to arm God knows who. Tch, not my problem. Look, I never had another chance like this. I've given them everything I have for this one shot. If I get recaptured... It's Blaster. Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is come that on, come I on, won't let's be get on any of them. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? I'm the guy who's gonna shut you down. Your days of moving illegal merchandise are over. Lester. Please. I don't know him. I hear third enough. You're a dead man. Ah! You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. <sighs> he should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Janus. If this is your idea of a face-to-face -face meeting, I'm not impressed. You didn't think I would jump on a plane to Prague, did you? I guess not. That conversation we recovered, you know who Manderley was talking to, don't you? Robert Page, CEO of Page Industries and owner of the First Life Corporation. He's a multi-billionaire. Doesn't mean we can't arrest both of them for conspiracy to commit murder. We heard Page give the order to kill Rucker. In a recorded conversation that you obtained illegally. It's fruit from the poisonous tree, Mr. Jensen. It won't stand up in court. What about this orchid, then? Can we find out more about it? I think we should find out. I'm digging on my end, but there may be something you can do in Prague. First Life has an account at the Palisade Property Bank. If you can get to their data vault, we may find some of the answers we're looking for. You're telling me to break into a bank? Ark is being manipulated, set up to take the fall for something. Most likely another terror attack. Fine. What about this Brown? Page mentioned him and some sort of council. Nathaniel Brown, maybe, head of the Santo Group? Perhaps. Nathaniel Brown stands to earn trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes, but... James. Adam, the site's been compromised. I just spotted sentry drones headed your way. What? How? I wasn't following. Maybe somebody at PRE detected Janus is hacking to the electrical grid. I don't know. Just get out of there. Mr. Jensen, it's no man Stanek. Please, please, you must help. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when I, when I got to here... Where? The Prakalska district. An apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please hurry. 
Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man, they're cleaning up blue sands. I can't break into a bank, not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. <sighs> Your call, man. What is this place? This is where they're holding my daughter. After I evaded your agents, I followed one of those fanatics, and he led me here. Where is she? He said she was on one of the upper floors, but no one is allowed to go up there. These lunatics are armed. They'll shoot anyone who tries. What are they going to do to her? It's okay. Mr. Stanek, stay here. I'll take care of it. I was not to be distant. Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Allison Stanek. Of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity? If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Freed! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. Then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you. But I persevered. And the machine god has given me my reward. I emerged from the crucible enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of elevated perception and wisdom. You seem to be a little short on both. If you were wrong about why I'm here, I bet you're wrong about a lot of other things, too. I admit when you first arrived, I was in the middle of something, and that distracted me from the true reason for your visit. But who could have anticipated one such as you would side with our enemies? They steal from us, they rape and murder us. They are animals. And animals go extinct, while technology perseveres. Victor is killing everyone. Not just the abusers, but innocent people. People like your father, who's never been anything but supportive and forgiving. Father, such a sweet man. 
I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? Well, you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to what I was doing before you came. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Allison, stop! I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Only this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the Machine God. This is the Ascension. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the Machine God, the artificial burdens of this physical plane will no longer bother me. Of course they will. Your mind's made up of thoughts and memories. If that's the part of you moving on, you'll be taking all your rage and pain along with you. Good God. I... I had not thought of that. It, it seemed to me that this was my only chance. The world is made up of nothing but agony and suffering. Or the futile struggle to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. Not the only one. You've seen the worst that life has to offer. But you're still trying to make things better. And in spite of it all, you believe that it's possible. Everything you need is right here in this room. You are your best hope for deliverance. Brother, you... Your faith in me... Your beautiful trust. I am overcome. It cannot be coincidence that you have made yourself known to me on this most holy of occasions. You are a sign from the Machine God that I am to remain here a little while longer. I am not yet ready to ascend. I will spread wisdom to the rest of the world. My job in this world is to stop people like Victor, and I need your help to do that. Of course, my dear Prophet. I am honored to assist you. Please, wait here. Take this. You can use it to defuse my little ones. It felt good for a change, to build something that saves lives instead of taking them. Agent Jensen? Over here. I am under arrest. People's lives were cut short, Allison, because of bombs you made. None of my children will suffer for what I did. You have my word. When you confront Victor, be merciful. Remember, he is your brother. Right. Smiley, Stanek and her escorts are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. Are you back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen, you and Fletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Miller out. <laughs> Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. 
Just get to the lab and you'll see.